All right, we're gonna do something a little different today. What up, Ava? I'm Katie here with Atola Visuals, and this is the first q and A. I feel like I've been putting out a lot of tech videos and you guys don't really know who I am and my background. So let's dive into the first question here. For the Q&A, what made you get into photography? Also, why did you choose Android over iOS? Just curious piece. It wasn't really one thing that got me into photography. It was an accumulation of many things. So I'll break it down into three categories. The first category was education. I first got into photography when I took a high school class. It was a black and white photography class and I used my dad's old Pentax K1000, which I actually still sell today. And it was a 35 millimeter film. So in that class, we learned how to use the camera, ISO, f-stop, basic things like texture, composition, contrast. And then I loved it so much that I took a second semester. And in that class, you learn more techniques like silhouettes, stop motion, and then we also got to play in the dark room, which is one of my favorite things. I wanted to take my education further, so this is the reason I went to Columbia College. It was an art school, they specialize in film, and I majored in cinematography. There was just something about moving pictures that really spoke to me more than just still photography, because I felt like you could really capture a person's essence. You could hear their voice. You could see the way they move and something that photography doesn't really give you. There we learned straight film. Like I was legit cutting film and taping it to a wall and taping them together and putting it through a projector just to watch it every time. We learned on the Bolex 16 millimeter. One of my favorite cameras was the Eclair NPR 16 millimeter. I loved camera class was probably my favorite. Doing something like that really helps you appreciate how much work and effort it goes into making movies. So my second category was, you know, having a real passion for this. So yeah, you can learn all these things, but if you don't really love what you do, it doesn't really matter. My dad really contributed to that. He'd always bring me to movies. He'd always have a a wall full of movies and we would just watch pretty much everything together. He didn't care if something was rated R or PG-13 and I was like six or seven years old. He would just play that shit. And then also filming my friends. When I finally had my own camera, I was always filming my friends and just annoying the shit out of them and putting it on camera. Still watch these videos and I just remember the feelings I had at that time. And that's just why I love it so much. And the third category is just making it your career. So you take that education and you take that love and passion and you morph it into making money. That really gives you confirmation of, you know, this is what I was meant to do. But yeah, that's just the first question. We got many more to go. Also, why did you choose Android over iOS? The great debate of iPhone versus Android. It's funny because I'm on Mac products with my laptop, even though I hate this new one, by the way. But I just never had an iPhone. I felt like as a kid, I was a rebel, so if everyone had an iPhone, I had to get Android. So I was always gunning for the underdog. And then Samsung came out with the S6 Edge, and that camera, I don't know if you know, but it's 16 megapixels. I was picking phones based on their camera specs. So after the Samsung, I got the Google Pixel. And the Google Pixel 2 versus the iPhone, if you do a side-by-side -side comparison, find a friend, it'll blow your mind. So we're finally gonna move to the next question. Taito Kim, I like your video's color. Thank you so much. What camera and mic did you use? My camera, I shoot on the A7R2 most of the time. I also have the 6500, and I also have the RX100, which I use mm, rarely. I am waiting for the Sony A7S III to come out. Feels like I've been waiting a whole year for that. So I'm a Sony fan, and which mic did you use? I use Sennheiser Lobs. I will show you right now. These are the Sennheiser AVXs, their digital brand. Matt Horton, awesome video. Thank you, awesome comment. Where did you get the music for your videos? So I use a website called Epidemic Sound. They just have a huge library and so many different choices for all these different types of moods. They also make certain playlists too, and they have a wide variety of sound effects if you like to add those to your video as well. And you pay a monthly fee based on how many YouTube subscribers you have. So this way I could download as much as I want and have the freedom to try different songs. If a certain song doesn't work out, I could just download another one. I've tried Audio Jungle, I've tried Premium Beats, and those websites you gotta pay per song. So I really like using that website. I'll put a link down below if you wanna check out more. Not top, Q&A question. Favorite gear bag, if any? 
if any, of course, I have some. All right, you already know I'm a huge fan of Peak Design Everyday Bags. This is the charcoal 30 liter bag. I can fit so much stuff in here. I have full reviews for these items if you wanna see them on my channel. And then if you want a little bit more room, a little bit more security, I have this hard case here, which also fits in the carry-on. It's the biggest you could get to fit in carry-on. This is the Pelican Air. 1535 and you can fit a bunch of stuff in here too. I've also added a lid organizer on the top here and I use the yellow subdividers, but those are my mains. Boreo, your shots, photos, and videos are really nice. Oh, thank you. All the best to your work. Thank you, thank you. You guys are so freaking nice all the time. By the way, are you Japanese or something else? LOL. Well, I'm not Japanese from what I know of. I never got a blood test but a lot of people think that. I'm actually 50% Filipino, proud, very proud of that. I'm 25% Polish and I'm 25% German. So you could call me a mutt, hapa, mestiza, whatever word you wanna use, that's me. Now you know, make sense boxing. How do you keep yourself motivated? Oh, two questions. What's your normal daily routine like? All right. So how I keep myself motivated, you gotta take care of certain aspects of your life. So the first one is definitely take care of yourself mentally. And then what also comes with self is your physical being. Being healthy, working out, eating healthy foods. When you feel like shit, you can't get work done. Obviously, if you're tired, you can't think straight. So make sure you yourself are taken care of before anything else. It may sound selfish, but it's not. People purge stuff to declutter and de-stress their mind. You don't realize it, but you could also do it with people too. So any toxic people are bringing you down. They're not supportive. They just make you feel shitty about yourself. So cut all those nasty people out. Don't feel bad about it. I guarantee you, once you get it done, it'll feel like a weight has lifted off your shoulders and you could finally think clearly. So once you get yourself situated, once you have your relationships working well and you're surrounding yourself with good vibes all around, next you could focus on career, which is probably what you really wanna learn about. One way I stay motivated is I find people to look up to. I follow their YouTube, I read their books. Those have really helped me. I listen to audiobooks when I'm driving or editing photos. I just got a few new books on my trip to Portland. Um, so I have this Tim Burton book, which I love. He's an incredible director. I love his work. It's just so different, makes you think. I also got this really awesome success psychology book. I love this thing. So it pretty much breaks down things into labels so you could understand them better and figure out what you need to do to be the best. You could read all these books, follow all these people, but if you ain't got a plan and you don't know what your goals are, what's the point? So definitely make a visual board on Pinterest. Maybe you just write down your goals on Asana, whatever you need to do, to just get it down. And then once you have a plan, what else can you do to stay motivated in your day to day? I have a Spotify playlist which keeps me motivated. So it's called Badass Bitch Playlist and I have a bunch of awesome people on here. So just like when you work out, you have that, that playlist to get you hyped up and motivated. You also need a work playlist, you know? What else I got in here? Just any type of music that'll pump you up. Make sure you get that money, make sure you succeed. Wake your ass up in the morning, it's on here. Um, something that also helps me when I can't stay motivated because there'll be days where I wanna procrastinate. But what's really helped me is I set up a timer for an hour and then I take a 10 minute break. So sometimes I'll go over the hour because I'm just so involved with what I'm working on that I forget to eat or drink sometimes, which is also a problem. So you need that timer to kind of balance your time out. Work on time management really helps you stay motivated. Question two, what is your normal daily routine like? I think for this one, I'm gonna just make a whole video about it. So we're gonna have to rain check that one. Sorry. What lens and ND do you use for these videos? So the lens, it depends what I'm using, but shooting on it right now, I'm on the 24 to 70 G Master F 2.8. I just did a review on that, so if you wanna learn more about that lens, check that out. Definitely worth it. Uh, it's my favorite lens thus far. ND filter that I use, I currently use 
Since it's a 2.8, I like to keep the shower that's field going. So with ND filters, I have a whole pack of Tiffin ND filters. And then I have a step up ring for my 10 to 18 Sony lens because I like to shoot that lens with my gimbals. All right, next question from Apple Prior. Prior. Question for Q&A, hi Apple. Hi Kitty, how do you go about researching areas of interest you plan to visit? Example, Portland trip to create your photo, video shoots, and upcoming YouTube content. Thanks so much, heart, heart, heart. Heart right back. Yeah, Portland has been on our travel bucket list for quite some time, just like Japan, just like a bunch of places in Asia like Singapore. And also had a lot of vegan food. For both vegan here so having a food trip really helps and be able to travel to some place where we could actually find food easily is a big part of where we choose our locations. I make lookbooks on Pinterest, I look on Instagram all the time so if I see something cool like a sea cave I'm like where the hell is that I need to visit that location and I'll just make a list of places that I want to visit eventually and make a plan towards getting there somehow. I also did a lifestyle video on my channel about how I planned locations with my friend Addie. We went around the city and we chose locations based off Instagram and bookmarked them and planned a map how we were going to go through the whole day and get all the shots that we needed to get during what time. So that's very important also. So when I choose gear to bring to these destinations, I think about what type of people would buy this product and how they would use it. So then when I test it, I could actually test it in a real life scenario. So that's how I pick my locations and what gear to bring. Yo mama, all right. Kitty, can you do a vid on editing and stuff? I actually get this question quite a lot. It's just really hard to make a video because I'm not sure what exactly you guys are looking for. I don't know if you're editing on Final Cut, if you're editing on Premiere, what level of editing you're on. Do you wanna look for plugins? Are you looking for basic, you know, just how to use the interface? I'm happy to help out. Just leave a comment below. Let me know what you guys want to learn about and I can do that. So yes, the answer is yes. Siege Sicilio. Siege Sicilio. Will you be my mom? Of course. <laughs> All right, last but not least, John Botto. Love your channel. Thank you, love you. It'd be awesome if you started vlogging. Yes, I get this all the time. I'm definitely gonna start to do more vlogging this year. It seems like you guys are really invested in <laughs> my behind the scenes life. I show a lot of vlogging stuff on IG stories, but you know, that goes away in 24 hours. I don't know what type of vlogger I'm gonna be, but I guess we'll figure this out together. Whew, we got through all of that. That was so much fun. I definitely wanna do more videos like this. It really helps to vibe off you guys and figure out what you guys want out of this channel, it really helps me out. Get the good vibes flowing, you know what I'm saying? So thank you for hanging out with me. I'm so excited for 2018 and bring more content faster to you guys. I'm always here if you need a question answered. We'll do another Q&A, of course. You do you, and I'll see you when I see you, fam. Mm. Done. Oh my God. <sighs> do more videos. Yay! What is it called? What's the word? So, 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 always so. I'm not emotion, emotional, the emotion available. Thank you everyone to, who participated. Wow, I can't say this. Honey, what a participated. I'm having a stroke. <laughs> Definitely adding that to the playlist.